Hey guys, this is like um, vlog number two. Um, I'm shooting, I'm probably gonna shoot several because as usual, every time I start babbling on, my videos end up being more than um, five minutes. I'm trying to think of what time it is. Okay, um, I slept in. I slept in today because, okay, so let me go back to the points that I didn't end up making in video number one. Um, it is Thursday and um, I, no, I didn't get sick on last Thursday. So last Friday, it hasn't it's just been barely a week, but last Friday was when you guys have been watching and I've had this Achilles thing that, you know, has just kind of been like coming in and coming in and, and, and I keep changing my, my workouts or I've been changing my workouts to try to hope that it would just heal on its own and I uh, last Friday I was doing my my turbo fire workout which is just an intense amount of jumping now that I know what the Achilles issue is kind of about I'm just looking at myself going um, you know I kind of just think well if I I still do this I'll still do this and I don't take it seriously people learn from <laughs> learn from me <laughs> for my stupidity so I'm jumping around doing turbo fire and you know just the back of my ankles and that and, and that whole area it was just starting to get I don't want to say intensely painful let's just say intensely dis, discomfort uncomfortable sorry and so I stopped it was last Friday that I wrote to Joe and Mike and I said you know I I need some help here I don't know what's going on should I see a doctor you know what is this thing and that's when they so kindly bitch slapped me and we're like dude seriously now, here's the thing, because a couple of you have asked about this on YouTube and you've sent me some emails going, you know, hey, what's wrong with, with working out at home? You've been doing it for a long time, yada, yada, yada. Um, the, the issue with me, which I do think is, a, you know, a theme that is probably um, common to many women and to men, but particularly women, is that I have been using... I've been working out, okay, so first I started to have the issues when I was running with my Achilles. So I thought, well, I'll stop running for a while. Well, then this mindset of mine was like, you know, that dirt bag I was training with in the past got me in this mindset of, you know, you've got to have so much cardio um, or you'll get fat. And so because I've lost 20 pounds this year or more, I need to get back on the scale. Um, and, and because that part of that happened when I was doing all that cardio. I still have that thing in my head of like, oh, gotta do a lot of cardio, gotta do a lot of cardio. And I also, on the other hand, you guys know, I genuinely like cardio. There's a lot of people out there that are like, oh, I hate cardio. I could do turbo fire all day. I could do kickboxing all day. I don't wanna run all day, but I really enjoy running. So cardio is something that I actually enjoy as much as I love strength training and as much as I love yoga. So it was never a hassle for me to do it. It was more a hassle of, do I have enough time? You know, I was, I was challenged with trying to fit all of this cardio in that I felt that I needed. So the issue was not necessarily Joe and Mike saying, you know, that DVD is bad. Now they certainly do have opinions on certain types of DVDs that are crazy cardio, a lot of plyo, in that if you do a ton of that, there's a, a, a certain area, a degree, if you will, of potential for injury. It's not my mission here to, to have these videos that I'm shooting right now. It's not my mission to try to get you guys to all abandon your home DVD workouts. That's not the point. For me, um, with the goals that I have, and first, furthermore, with the resources that I have, um, and at the age I'm at, you know, I'm not 20, I'm 44, so as you get older people, you have to start thinking about what is sustainable. I, I, I want fitness to add to my life, not put me in a, in a wheelchair so that I have my foot in a cast. That's not fun for me. I want to be able to enjoy life and have fitness help me improve my life so that I can be more active, not less active. Um, with me, my problem became, because now I can kind of look at myself, see what I was doing. Number one, certainly I was becoming more and more feeling like I needed to do, sorry, there's a hair. Feeling like I needed to do a tremendous amount of cardio. It was just never enough. And you guys that have seen my last vlogs, I'm telling you, why did it take this? It took somebody to snap me out of it to go, wait a second. Was I really thinking that? Yes, I was. What's crazy is if somebody else would say to me what I was saying, which is, okay, so I'm gonna do cardio every single day, seven days a week, 
when I get up, empty, empty stomach. Then I'm gonna do four days a week of strength training. And then I'm gonna do another cardio at night seven days a week if I can. And then I wanna do seven days a week uh, yoga at night. If, if I heard that from somebody else, I'd go, what the hell is your problem? And yet I was doing it and thinking it still wasn't enough. Um, you can get in a very warped mindset, especially if you're a woman and you know, like I'm not at my goal with fat loss yet. So then I'm thinking, well, more cardio will help me get there. And I know, probably know inside, because I'm exposed to enough of these experts, that's not true, but yet that's what I was thinking. I've gotta do more, I've gotta do more. And then, you know, I can't eat anything bad or, or whatever. And you don't even realize you're getting into that mindset. Um, so that's where I was, and the problem with what Joe and Mike were saying is, you don't have any plan. You know, you're just doing a crap ton of cardio. You're doing a ton of plyo jumping running, which is, you know, because you're doing too much of it. Um, and, and, and you don't have a plan on your workout. You're just adding as much as you can. Like, let me just throw this in, let me throw this in and, and doing as much as you possibly can and trying to be, you know, topping your caloric burn, topping the intensity, topping this. You're getting into overtraining and you're destroying your metabolism. So it's not necessarily that working out at home or using DVDs is bad in and of itself, but when you get someone like me who takes all of that and just keeps piling it on and there's no plan to it, it's kind of like, you guys know I'm all about the metaphors, it's kind of like cooking, you know, when you say, well, I think I want to make, you know, some brownies. And so you just take a bowl and you just start going around your kitchen and you're like, well, let me, I'll just put eggs in, I'll put flour in, I'll put this in, I'll put this in. And then, you know, you're getting to the top and you, you haven't measured anything and you're trying to stir it and you can't stir it and you're like, well, this isn't going to work. Let me just add some more. And you just keep adding it. Just the more that you add, the more it doesn't make sense. Here I am talking about cookie batter, trying to compare it to fitness. Makes no sense, right? Um, that's the way this mind thinks. I'm just stretching. Anyway. All that said, that was kind of the main point about workout DVDs in me. Um, there, there wasn't a plan, I was doing way too much, and there was nobody there to guide me. Um, do I still love and, I, and will I miss doing things like turbo fire and, turp and, and all the kicking and whatever? Yeah, but to the, to the other, on the other hand, when I realize now what causes an Achilles issue and what can make it worse, it's like, no, yeah, that's fun and that's awesome, but I don't want to have an Achilles uh, injury where I can't walk and I have to wear a boot. I just saw a guy at Trader Joe's and he said his wife has been you know, in a boot um, for her Achilles for three months. No, no. Life and living life and being healthy is too important to be injured like that. I am not doing it. So, that's very simple. It's, it's not to say that those things are bad. For someone like me, I need and I find it important and I'm seeing that it's more important and I'm going to recommend it more, you know, have a teacher. Have a teacher for the things that you want to do. It doesn't mean that you have to pay a trainer. The first thing people say about trainers is they're like, oh, I can't afford it. I don't have that kind of money. Guess what? When, when you really take things seriously, you'll cut your spending in other areas. And I'm not telling you what to do, but, you know, you'll cut your spending in other areas so that you can pay for the things that matter to you. That it, it is what it is. Like, I'd rather not have cable TV anymore and be able to spend more money on, on personal training or, or whatever. Other people will have similar attitudes and it kind of makes sense. They're like, well, I cut down on this because this is where I want to put my focus. Uh, you don't have to, but you should definitely take yourself back and look at what you're doing and go, okay, I, you know, I need some help. Even if it means consulting with someone once a month so that they can help you and guide you and give you some pointers. Everybody learns from somebody, and that learning should continue to grow. This is very loud, all of a sudden. I haven't heard this in a long time, though. So, here's the deal. So, I went to go talk to those guys on Friday. That's when my Achilles had gotten really bad. And Friday, you guys, maybe it was Friday and Saturday, I couldn't even walk. This is too loud. Hold on. I don't know why it's so loud. Um... So I couldn't even walk around my house um, without like, I don't want to say pain, it was more like discomfort, shooting up, especially on my right leg, shooting up uh, to the back of my, uh, of my right leg. It was just, you know, felt like it was in between the muscle. Um, and I was walking around going, oh my God, you know, I, don't, I, I just had this vision of it getting worse and worse and worse. So um, 
that was bad and, and those guys told me they're like I want you to go meet with Mark and and have him assess you and whatever so I was not allowed to work out Saturday or Sunday and it was really difficult for me it was really difficult for me to get up I'm so used to getting up and, and doing my um, you know my pro sculpt and doing my cardio and you know that's what I developed as my habit and, and I like it so it's really hard for me not to do it and furthermore I have that you know kind of mindset that I've gotten used to being active and so I was like oh, just you know, I'm, I'm sliding backwards this is I'm losing progress no you're not gonna lose progress in two days so then I went to see Mark Monday afternoon um, and he's a bit of a drive away, but we did that functional um, assessment, uh, which I turned out pretty well on. Uh, he's unbalanced on both sides. You guys might go, you are so unbalanced. Am I already at 10 minutes? I am. And then um, he has designed this, my training, which is going to be, from what he said, and we're going to be shooting a lot of videos down there. So um, you're going to get to see a lot of what we're doing. You get to see the facility. I think next time I go down there, we're going to, I'm going to bring my muscle ropes so that we could do um, some stuff with that too. Because I know he said that we're going to do circuits like this and then I'll have him describe it. Some of the other ones are going to be more like using um, TRX, muscle ropes, um, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, these are more strength workouts. And then I think he was saying maybe two days a week, things that would be more cardio-ish, but again, using um, TRX, kettlebells, um, more throwing and, and stuff like that versus uh, isolation. This is not, not a, a isolation. This is a very different approach than an isolation training type of a thing. What's interesting is the first part of this workout, if you can see it, so the first part of the workout is a lot of foam rolling. Foam rolling, um, hip thigh extension marks. Some of these I'm already, <laughs> some of these I'm already forgetting. It's amazing. But what happened is I went to see him Monday afternoon. We he showed me all of the moves for the uh, the warm up, if you will. I wonder what what does ramp stand for? R A M P. We'll find that out. Um, and then he said, "Well, we can do a workout." And I was like, "Oh," um, and like a dumbass, I hadn't eaten. That day it was a rush day, bad, my Purcell will yell at me. Um, so I'm like, I don't think I should do the whole workout. I haven't had enough to eat today, blah, blah, blah. But what we did is we walked through one uh, set of each exercise so I knew what he was talking about. And I had a really nice sweat going on and I had doms the next two days, which was awesome. Um, but, God, what was I just gonna say? Um, then I came home that night and I could start to feel, I, I felt a cold coming on. I went to sleep that night and then I pretty much have been flirting with a very serious cold for like the past two days. Um, really felt crappy Tuesday, really, really bad. Wednesday, which was yesterday, I felt 70% better and now I let myself sleep in today. Sleep is the great healer. Um, I'm much, much better, which today is the first day I have workout clothes on and I'm actually going to do this and then email Mark to see when I'm going to go see him again. But. You know, the biggest thing that we did, which I've used a foam roller in the past, but I never had one at home, so I ordered one. Um, from I got this one from Walmart for like 27 bucks. Um, but I, I wanted one that was long, longer, because I think I had one that I had given to my dad, but it was half the size. You know, I want this ability to be the, the long one. Plus, um, you can, well, that's a side note. I was gonna say, you know, you can set this like this and do leg lifts over it, which is kind of cool. But anyway, foam roller is a bit. I mean, if you guys have not done foam rolling, it is outrageous how intense it is for, especially for me, on my calves, on my legs. And then the other thing too that's amazing, when you're doing foam rolling, you can, you identify as you roll, then the second he's like, the second you feel it catch, that's where you need to focus because that's where your muscles tight and you don't want to stay there. But you do because of this and it's just rolling it out and it was so interesting to me because when I get on this for my IT band, I'll link to some other videos for, for those of you that is, this is totally new to. I mean, on my IT band on my right side, I was like I screaming obscenities. And yet on my left side, a lot easier. You know why? For several reasons. Remember my left leg is where I burned it on the bottom of the foot this year? So the left leg is where I have been putting for, for quite some time, I'm guessing, 
This is just my theory. Um, I, I've been definitely standing more on my right leg. I think my right leg is just much tighter on everything. My glutes were hurting more on the foam roller. We used the tennis ball too. Uh, my IT band, my quads, everything was, was tighter and it was much more painful doing the foam rolling than it was on the left side. So interesting. Then he also showed me some stretches um, for your back on this that I was like, damn, I'm gonna do that every night. So we did that. And then the circuits um, are strength moves, but again, Everything is incorporating core too. I'm at 15 minutes, so I've got to stop. Um, but I will, when I'm down there again, we'll show you some of the things that we're doing. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to trust and I'm going to put aside all of my weird, oh God, is this not, you know, I'm, I'm not doing enough cardio. His plan for me is that I'm gonna be doing this training five days a week, that's it. I'm not allowed to run for at least 30 days to make sure that my Achilles is, is fine, and I'm fine with that. As much as I mentally, mentally I'm still going, can't I, can't I just go for a run? Can't I just do supply? -o? I just enjoy it, and there still is that mindset of me thinking that I need it. But inside, I really do. I know that killer strength and conditioning, and however I'm saying this, metabolic training and, and this kind of stuff, where you go heavy and you go hard and you don't stop, it's intense, you show up. Mike Purcell was telling me, he's like, I change my training to be you know, much more specific, very targeted, and he said, you really are gonna need to give your body rest in between because it's really intense. And he's like, you will make more progress, see changes in your body, but you've just gotta chill out and trust the process because your mind is gonna think, you know, oh, I need to eat less and I need to just do a ton of cardio. I know that this is gonna work. It is going to be hard for me to, to trust it, but I will. And I'm gonna share with you guys the whole process and then you'll be able to see, you know, you'll be able to see how does this affect, you know, am I able to, see all that, you know, lose the, lose the fat that I wanna lose. How does it affect fat loss for me? Um, how does it affect my strength and my gains? And you know, maybe a month from now I won't wanna add back in running. He said, you know, hey, at that point, then you can add some back in. I'm gonna trust the process, I'm gonna trust the experts, I'm going to trust the teachers, and I'm, I'm excited. I'm actually, I'm really excited to, to like go in here because the other thing is, and I'm at 17 minutes, here's the other thing. This is not why I went to Mark, this is not why I did all of this. Not that it would matter, but here's the thing. Now all of a sudden when I realize I'm gonna be working out five days a week, let's say maximum, he was saying you should be able to get this done in an hour. Let's say each time I do it, you know, hour and a half. Let's say maximum hour and a half. Probably hour and 15, right? Um, five days a week at, let's just say an hour, like he said. Five, five days a week, and then, you know, I asked him, can I do my yoga every night? He's like, I kind of think maybe not every night, but, you know, I'll let you choose that. So say, you know, say we do five days a week, I'm working out, that's it, and then I can do my yoga as I want at night. I have now freed up so much more of my day so that I can be more productive at work. I'm going to feel refreshed. Um, I'm excited about it. Um, it's gonna be really interesting. So here I thought, you know, what have I been saying to you guys in, in, in a lot of my past videos? I've been obsessing, like, how am I gonna fit this in? I don't wanna take too much time away from work. And now here's this, and many of you are gonna go, Kelly, are you stupid? Wake up. Sometimes it takes somebody else to wake you up. And I'm excited and I am trusting the process and I'm gonna share with you guys every step of the way. Now I've gotta go and get to work or my people are gonna be like, what's wrong with you? Do you ever work or do you just shoot vlogs all day?